So, that's, so, so trauma is not just personal, it's also cultural and it's historical, and it's also transgenerational. And we just can't help passing it on. So if, if I carry trauma, I can be sure to pass it on to my kids unless I've resolved it, worked it out. And to the extent that I've resolved it, I, I don't pass it on. And to the extent that I haven't resolved it, we do pass it on. And now if you look at the larger question of why are so many kids being diagnosed, well, you know it can't be a genetic problem because genes don't change in a population over five years or 10 years. So if you're seeing much more ADHD in Norway now, there's a good reason for it. And the reason is that must be, and I don't know much about Norway, but the reason must be that the parenting environment is less and less comfortable for kids, that parents are more and more stressed, that parents are more and more busy, that parents are more and more distracted, marriages are more conflictual, maybe there's more depressed people around, economic stress for both people to work, communities maybe are less connected, there's less and less of that village, of that attachment village, of that hunter-gatherer type union between people. So there's, because, because that's what globalization does, is it just keeps destroying and destroying and destroying the basis of human existence in the name of economic progress. And so more and more parents are stressed, guess what? More kids are gonna get diagnosed. And then we say, the kid's got a disease, let's give him a pill. Rather than looking at, well, what is it about the environment? Because the good news is, and I'll talk about that later again if I have a chance, is that the brain can develop new circuits, as I mentioned before. The question is, what conditions is required for that? And if we really understood the implications of the science, and the wisdom, then the questions would be asking ourselves, okay, if all these kids are developing problems, what conditions are causing that? And what conditions do we have to create to um, lead them in a new direction, to help them reconnect?